Give me an example of, of how you put a tune together and how you keep the elements together. Well, there's never one way for me to, to go about something. You know, if, if I, um, there isn't kind of a one set method uh, that I do things, but certainly when I started to play solo guitar, I would play, um, I'd take a, a tune and I'd just take the, the chords and the melody and I'd play the, the inversion of the chord with the, the melody note on top, so I'd play this kind of thing. It's a chordal thing, but I don't really play like that, I don't really think that way. Um, I, maybe because my dad was a bass player, I always think of the bass. Uh, bass line all the time, so I think of the bass line, so I've got the melody. And I think of the, the bass line, of, of just the bass part of the, the chord, so the root note all the time. And if I put that together the, with the melody, I get this. Turn that bass line into a walking bass line. For the melody. And then getting some of the chords in because you can't really play like the whole chord. You can't play like a six string chord. And you don't really need to because, like, playing two notes, you can give the effect of a bigger chord, so like the, the, the third and the seventh of the chord, you can get this kind of thing. Playing, like comping like this. Bring the bass. The me melody. And then of course, once you've got that, the idea is not really to make a party piece out of it. From that, then I kind of move on to um, improvising around that. So I'll, I'll change, the, I've got those three parts, but I'll kind of change them around. And then really just keeping that in mind all the time, these three parts, I try and improvise. Sometimes it works. Who says Sometimes. we need piano players? Uh. <laughs>